What's up you guys? Today we are here with another video and today we are going to be looking at this article for Call of Duty. It says here Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is now one of the best selling games ever by Laura Savagina, whatever. In only three months on the market, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War has risen to the top 20 best selling games of all time in the US market. The Call of Duty series is certainly no stranger to success, but the franchise has now reached new heights fresh off the success of Call of Duty Warzone comes Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. While this is the 17th game in the series, the Call of Duty franchise shows no signs of depreciation. Review scores for the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War were generally lower than the previous installments in the franchise, but only by a small Morgan. Now the NPD group has reported the new installment is one of the best selling games of all time. Per the NPD's January sales statement, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War has now broken the top 20 in US game sales. For a game that has been only on the market since November 2020, this is a massive feat. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War now stands amongst some of the best known games of all time. So, here it is. It is worth noting that the NPD only began tracking game sales in 1989. So games released before that time were excluded from the list. The NPD group has not shared the full list of all time best selling games. So it is only, it is unknown what other games hold top spots. A relatively reliable prediction would be for recent giants such as Grand Theft Auto V, Minecraft, and Skyrim to hold appear on the list as they were all featured on the currently available 2010-2019 best-selling games list by the NPD group. It is also expected that the list includes several other Call of Duty games. There are a total of, of 10 Call of Duty games featured on 2010 and 2019 best-selling list. While it is certainly an impressive feat to be featured on the best of all time list, the method of tracking used by NPD group is questionable. The data collection group tracks sales not by shipped units, but by dollar amounts. This means that the price of the game is a crucial factor in determining whether it makes the list. Full price games $60 undoubtedly have an advantage over cheaper games like Minecraft, which typically cost half that amount. The use of the amount in dollar data rather than units sold data also disadvantage older games. It is as it is unknown whether the NPD group accounts for infl inflation in its presentation of the best ga best selling games. So it is easy to understand why the NPD group has made this decision opening the list up to tracking per unit would be inviting myriad of shovelware onto the list. This would likely result in the best selling games consist only of free mobile apps regardless of the tracking methods Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and the team behind it should consider it a massive achievement to be featured on the list. Okay. I definitely have to say this game does not need to even be featured in the best selling games ever list. There are so many people that don't really like this game and don't really have fun on this game because of the skill based matchmaking in the less content. And not to mention it's taking too much time to for them to push out a simple DLC and exclusive content for everyone. We just got the Firebase 
DLC with the zombies and we got at least some new features into the game but as far as it being the best selling game ever the core game itself is nothing players have spent over around November all the way to February which is nearly three months we were lucky enough to even get a DLC this month so no as far as this being the best game of all time I do disagree skill based matchmaking is the problem there's not that many maps in this game that are actually fun and the guns they're very bland and some of them are OP that should have been touched up from from the beginning and not only that Warzone is just completely boring it's boring now because Cold War game because Cold War's guns literally take over PvP with Warzone now nobody could easily just play the game the way how they want to because Cold War guns are so OP and so overpowered to the point where you can't experience it the way you want to experience it. So there's no reason to actually sit there and say, oh, this game is the best. When some things in this game lack so much and needs to be put needs to be put back on the drawing board and touched up for the player's enjoyment. So most definitely, this game not the best in the year not top 10 game of the year I definitely could say that but uh, that's it for this video you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video like share and subscribe turn on that post notification bell and I'll see you in the next one